Niko sawa? Okay. Look- yeah, we don't break phone, girl. Mm-mm. No. Even in bed. Even in bed. My name is Dr. Karen Mutembwa. I'm also called Dr. K. I'm an obstetrician gynecologist resident at the University of Nairobi at Kenyatta National Hospital. And my work is basically to see women, uh, see any woman of reproductive age group who has any issue of gynecological origin or any pregnant women. Uh, my passion in life basically is to uh, help women, teach you, encourage you, and inspire you uh, because we are very strong in this world. Wow, as in Anikol Pia is everywhere, everywhere, everywhere in the world, not even just in Kenya. Uh, but we see it mainly because we, uh, in the society, especially in Africa, uh, we find that people believe that men are of a certain caliber as compared to women, even for doctors. Pay issue is usually there. So um, um, it, we are very lucky in our country sometimes uh, because of the standardization of different things, we are very lucky that our government actually recognizes sometimes our uh, profession. So if you're the same job group, then you're most likely going to be paid um, the same amount. But if you're in a certain area, maybe in a non-governmental organization, the pay between men and women are very, very different. Yes, of course. Unfortunately, um, it's happened before. Maybe I'll give you like a scenario of what has happened to myself or other colleagues. Uh, So, for example, I had one patient who had... uh, they were, I was in a certain hospital and I had attended to several patients in the ward. And that time I was in the ward, I was doing something called internal medicine. And um, I saw this lady, she was above 40 years of age. She, she had a certain condition and she was from uh, um, the pastoralist community. And so when I needed to talk to the relatives about this particular patient, I went and we had, they came like five of them, you know. So first of all, even asking them to reduce the numbers because I need to talk to the husband only or I need to talk, you know, because you have to give information only to particular people. Um, they were like, no, you know, just we are the men of this um, tribe. So we talk to all of us, you know. They all have to be there. I gave them all the information they needed, especially the husband. Um, then when I was done, they were like, okay, asante sana, but where is the doctor? And I was like, whoa. Um, it's right here. I'm doctor, you know, and, and to them, they were surprised. They were like, why? You're, you're the nurse, you know, we need the doctor to come and see. So it kind of felt like the community didn't understand or does not, most of the people don't understand and don't know the difference between, um, the fact that doctors can also be women, um, and especially in particular communities. So Yes, it has happened to me. Um, yeah, and, and it's not only once. It's happened severally. Or maybe you're walking past a number of people and you're still wearing your lab coat, return doctor, whoever, whoever, and they just say, um, excuse me, nurse, 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 you know. So it's like women should be nurse. Not, not that nurses is a, being a nurse is a bad thing, but it's like doctors are men and women are nurses. Wow. Um, First of all, getting healthy babies. You know, in my profession, what I'm doing right now, I'm in gynecology, obstetrics and gynecology. All the time when I get a healthy baby and a healthy mother, that's my happiness. It makes you feel accomplished. It makes you feel so good. You know, that's the first for me because I don't do this because of the money. Many many people say that uh, doctors um, go into the profession because of money and everything. Let me tell you, even if you had a million dollars right now you'll still want to have 10 million dollars let me tell you that's the truth but the thing is for me to stay there and and be satisfied in what i do even if it's like i love it's a it's like a toxic relationship you know you love this job but it really takes a lot from you you know the healthy baby and a healthy mother is the main thing for me um so that's what I would say is my greatest accomplishment amongst others. Of course, getting even to med school and getting to be a, a gynecology resident 
um, you know, not very many people get to reach to where I have reached. You know, you get into school and then you, you kind of feel like you're disoriented. There's just too much work. As I said, this work is quite, it takes a lot from you. It takes your emotions, uh, your mental health, you know, like your physical, you, you're not even present for other things in your life, especially even your friends. So they might not really understand it. But for, for, for me, in getting to where I am, I am, I'm very excited. Of course, also having an office of my own. Um, yeah, and being able to do what I do, teach. That makes me very happy. <laughs> I definitely think so. You know why? Uh, because I know we say that men are leaders, and that's true, but women can also be leaders. And um, once you teach a woman something, she will always tell another woman. And that kind of goes like a cascade of events. So if I teach you a wrong thing right now as a woman, um, you're probably going to tell the other one something wrong about it. And it's going to go like wildfire. Let me tell you, bad things go like wildfire. But if, you, if I teach you something or I tell you something ab about something medical and it's true, then it's going to also go the same way. And women tell other women, we talk, we talk. So we are very, very good leaders. We kind of pass on um, information from one to another, and that helps the community in, in general. Um, I don't want to compare it to the men, but I know men don't really talk to each other about things, um, especially educational things, which I also encourage them to do it, but it would also make them better leaders because they are leaders as well. Well, it took me, I've worked for 10 years, I think more than from 2013, that's like nine, nine years. Uh, from 2013 to now, I've been working. And at the beginning, it wasn't as easy uh, because you have like so many things coming over, like you have uh, decisions to make. You're being moved from one county to another, you know, because of the kind of work that we do. Um, the government can decide to move you from one place. So you can't even have a relationship in one town and you're moving to another, you know, so that kind of disrupts your life a bit. Um, but as I grew up um, and grew in the profession, I learned that it's possible to separate um, work life and your own life. As much as we say we are very busy doctors, we are very busy doctors, um, when you're not working, when you're not working, it's good to set time for family. It's imp it's very important because as much as we work, we work, you know, work can actually make you get sick. You can get unhealthy. You can get depressed. You can get anxious. It's good to not s to separate that from your actual life. Um, it took me some time to do that because I used to just intermingle everything together. But when I realized that I have the power to say no to what is not within, you know, I have timings for my work and then there's timings for my own wellness. So that's what I had to learn myself. So yes, I do have a work, a work life balance. I'm still working on it, but I know that it, it only gets better with time. Yeah. I need to remember that I need to eat right because when I'm at work, I don't, you f you'd kind of forget that you didn't have breakfast. So you eat lunch at 4 p.m. And then from, and then whatever you eat at 4 p.m. is probably something you ordered and it's not probably the most healthiest thing. Um, so when I realized that I need to set time for my own feeds, like what to eat, I need to set time for my own medical checkups because it's important to do your yearly checkups. I'm sure not everyone does that, including <laughs> my own family, but it's important to remember that every year it's important to do your yearly checkups. When I realized I needed to do that, I changed um, doing my workouts. Yes, I do work out, you know, <laughs> I do work out because I realized that as much as I work, I, I for your mental health, and not even physical, for your mental health, it's important to get active, get into the gym, meet people in the gym. Um, some people even meet other people in the gym, you know, partners um, from different professions and all, because you'll find out that if you're in a certain profession, you kind of intermingle with so many of your similar professions that you end up marrying them. But if you open your mind to going out to um, uh, for lunches, dinner, 
um, club, if you club, but yeah, of course, in control, con control of yourself. Um, and of course, uh, the gym, you'll meet different people from different places and you'll see life in a different way. Know your feminine energy. Um, a lot of people have talked about it. I have talked about it in some of my videos on YouTube. Um, we need to know that and understand that we are women. And there's no amount of, 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 of life that should change us and so that we can become masculine. I can still be a leader and still be very feminine. I can still do, um, I can still have very good financial control and management and still be very feminine. I don't need to change and be rough, you know. Leave it for the boy. These guys, this is what they're meant to do. But being feminine kind of changes a lot about you. Um, for example, if you're nice, uh, soft, nurturing, kind, you know, that's what that's, God gave us a lot as women to handle, to be helpers, you know, to also uh, allow our femininity to come out, your beauty, you tend to get a lot of advantages. Um, you you kind of get, um, uh, it's not really favors, but you get that energy you build around people. They tend to treat you better. Then you're able to move up in the ladder faster, you know, as compared to being rude, uh, being rough, um, you know, not being, you know, it's good for people to feel comfortable around you. That's what I feel we women need to learn to accept ourselves that we are women. It's a good thing to be a woman. It's a good thing to be feminine. It's a good thing to look good. It's a good thing to smell good because all that will make people address you in a different way. Um, they'll address you with, um, they, they will address you with care. They will address you with, um, they'll want to give you opportunities. And you need to know that you have power within yourself as being a woman, that you will get some things because you conducted yourself in a certain way. Yeah, so being a woman is a very advantageous thing. And it's a beautiful world out here. Discipline. Um, for you to get anywhere in life, you need to remember a few things. And discipline is one of them. If you set your mind to do something, and I'll give you an example. Think about yourself self 10 years ago. Did you, ever, did you want to be a certain thing? And then look at your life now. Is it that thing that you wished for 10 years ago? So you can think, you can realize, you will realize that your thoughts right now determine your future in the next 10 years. Because where you are is a, a result of your last 10 years. So if you can say, okay, fine, I'm here right now. If I can set my mind and say, I want to be this kind of a person. It could be a totally different profession, totally different, you know, kind of a, 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 a character that you're building within yourself. For sure, if you put discipline in that thing, you will get to it. There's nothing impossible. You can get anything you want. Should not be limited to the fact that you're a woman. That's a mentality. Don't put a woman as a limitation. A woman is not a limitation. A woman has all the things, they, all the opportunities they want in life and know you're one of them. You can do it. Oh, that's it. Dr. Karen in bed with us. Ah! <laughs> Usually that's what the YouTube thing will read. <laughs> 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 <laughs>